Hello there, Larry. This is Bob, responding to your request for some help on uh, these links and the latest news or news and updates module. So what we have here is I'm looking at the links and I see if I hover over that this starts with uh, kirk3r.org slash component slash content slash 82 dash kirk uh, just to get started and that's an incorrect link so if you click that link you'll get a 500 error if you go to see what the real link is this is recycling and beyond towards the zero waste campus and if I were to click that here this is the actual link up here in the top so if I copy that and then I go to this uh, particular link on the web archive that one there so we'll go into the back article manager and let's see where this one will be webinar archive that looks like it okay and then I'll expand my whoops expand my text box here give me some room to work and you'll see here that this link does not match the link that uh, I just verified so if I right click edit link do 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 okay and I'm not sure where that came from but that's the problem so if we get rid of that and put this and you can type in whatever title and things you want down here and just insert save and close go back out here and reload our page and now there it is so all you need to do is click the links over here on the left that were the most recently added articles which uh, answers your second question and I'll get into that more deeply in a moment but that's where you can click on those to get the correct link copy it and then just replace the links on the problem page here and they will work now the reason they get posted over here in news and updates is this module is set to post I believe the most recent uh, one two three four five six seven postings it looks like and where you change those settings is in the back here I'm gonna go to extensions module manager and this module manager is generically known as latest news module but we call it news and updates so I'm going to click here on latest on news and updates and we show uh, what categories we would like to be included in that module so right now somebody has selected just webinars so what's going to show in that module you can see we have the count set to 10 so the 10 most recently posted articles or pieces of information that get categorized to this category webinars are going to show uh, it's supposed to, you know, the purpose is to have uh, your latest content get posted and updated on the, on the latest news and events. And so uh, you can create categories and then decide which category you want to show there. For example, we've got one called Kirk News and Updates. Maybe only things that get set, get set to that category go there. And if you want to create, and I'm not going to change anything because somebody obviously did this and uh, hasn't asked me to change it so I'm, I won't do that but you see how to do it if you need to and to create categories you can go here to category manager and you can create say a master category like Kirk news and updates and then you could have a bunch of subcategories so that if you put latest news and update to post anything from this category it will also include the child categories and that's how you can include news from more than one area um, but if you have an area that you don't want to be included there like webinar updates or something you can uh, not assign them to that category or not assign that category to the latest news module so that's how the links work and that's how the latest news module works if you have any questions 
you know where I'm at. Bob at the Mobius Network dot com. Thanks, Larry. Bye.